At any given moment, there's a bunch of comets flying around the solar system, and you can actually look up those comets and take photos of them pretty much all the time, but they're usually quite small and quite faint. In 2018, however, we have a Christmas comet, Wurtenin 46P, which is actually returning to our skies and is already naked eye visible. I'm going to try and see if I can get a closer look though, so I'm going to show you the process. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. I've done my alignment, I'm polar aligned, so I'm ready to go. Now I'm using Sky Guide, which has a list of available comets. It's got Comet Wurton in here. And if I hit Info and scroll across, I get the RA and DEC. And that's the information I'm going to plug into Seeking Generator Pro. So I had to use plate solving to find it. And here's the first three second preview. See a little fuzzball there. Okay, so I've got all the data, but now comes the hard part, stacking. Let's take a look at what we got. So if I stack the stars normally, you see that the comet itself is moving. I stack on the nucleus itself, uh, which you can do in PixInsight with the Comet Align tool, or I use Nebulosity. You can see all the stars appear to drift and the comet's in nice focus. So straight out of the DSLR, if I just export to JPEG from uh, Bridge, you can see I've got the frames and I can loop through them and animate them. Um, however, it is nice to stack on the comet nucleus itself so we can see a bit more detail from the comet. So to do that, I use Nebulosity. So I'll just jump into Nebulosity here and go to Align and Combine, Set Translation. That's the only type of alignment we want to do. Click OK. Then I go over to my frames and I have I've got 77, but you know, for example sake, I'll just stack 10 for you. Go open, and then we zoom into our image. I'll just hop over to the middle here, and there it is. And we just click on the nucleus. And I'll repeat that 10 times. asks you to save the stack and there's the stack you can see that the stars trail now but the comet looks quite nice uh, however it's a bit green bias so what I like to do is go into Pix Insight and I'll open up that stack that we just did and just let Pix Insight do the stretch so automatic STF or screen transfer function hit the nuclear option that's looking a lot better. Of course there's vignetting and other things to clean up. There we go. And so that's my finished image of the comet. Now this should look a bit better as we come closer to Christmas and the comet reaches perihelion. Hopefully we get the ion tail and the dust tail. So we should eventually see two tails visible. I hope this video helps you catch the Christmas comet, Comet Wurtenen as it swings past the sun and on its closest approach to Earth for the next 20 years. Good luck, clear skies, remember everything is meaningless and we're all going to die.